What's up, guys and girls of YouTube? It is me, Justin Omoe, here with another video for you guys and girls. This one is specifically talking about how to change an event into automation clips. Now, if you've seen my previous video, I talked about, you know, recording the automation. Um, well, yeah, for the noise gate. So I'm going to show you how to actually change these events into automation clips. So first off, make sure you're in an empty pattern to record your clip your automation, uh, right click here, make sure everything's selected, at least automation, I believe. Um, sometimes you get a window, depends on if you switch the um, switch that says, don't show me this anymore. <laughs> so yes, I highlighted just a portion of the song, so you know, the whole thing doesn't play out. So yes, once record is on, I'm gonna tweak the volume, the pan, and the stereo separation. So you guys and girls could see what I'm doing. Uh, as well, I'm going to put the snap to none. That way it records, you know, in a free manner. All right, so let me go ahead and hit play and do this. All right, so as you've seen, I got an event clip out of automating this. So it's an automation event. What I'm going to do is go ahead and double click, bam, bam. And here we go, we have the event. Uh, control right click is to zoom out. I don't know why it does it too much. And then control scroll to zoom out even more. Anyways, this is the event for the fader. See, it says volume. Take note when I play back here. All right, turn that off. Anyways, when I play back, you'll see it move. I'm not touching. Okay, so yes, anyways, we want to turn this into a automation clip. What we'll have to do is click here, go into edit, turn into automation clip, bam. And notice it does, you know, its job here. The threshold is something that you will set to smooth out the points. The lower you go, the more points you make, and the more, you know, processes, you know, CPU, I guess, it'll take up. So, you know, if you want to make it as smooth as butter, go ahead and click, you know, there. <laughs> Put the threshold all the way up, and let's hit accept. Okay, once we hit accept, we look down here, and voila. The automation clip is made. I'm going to drag down. Uh, let me put my snap back on real quick. Just take it, drag it, drop it. And let's go to none again. Or a matter of fact, um, put a snap for this one on bar. There we go. Okay, so yeah, notice how we have the automation clip. And the event is actually gone. Because turning it into automation makes it, you know, replace. So yes, I'm gonna hit play. So yeah, notice how it, you know, works with it. Um, it wasn't as smooth as the last one, or it wasn't as, you know, real time because I switched the threshold. So yeah, let's do it again. I double click here. This one is on panning. We could do stereo separation as well. So I'll go here, edit. Turn into automation clip. For this one, I'll put the threshold down. Enter. And let's go ahead and take this, click it down. And yeah, notice all those little points. You know, that is so much points. If we actually go here and right click, point 352 out of 352. <laughs> it made it real, but oh my gosh. Like, um, why won't this close? What the hell is that? Hold on. Well, that's some glitch. <laughs> okay, don't worry about that. But notice how it, uh, even though it has that, um, you know, all these points, it still works smoothly. If you've seen it, let me do it one more time.
So yes, and last but not least, that we have serial separation. Edit, turn into automation clip. Let's actually put this one in the middle. Accept, and here it is. Scroll up, scroll in, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's right click. Anyways, there's 80 points in this one. So yeah, be wary of that when you're creating the automation clips. Uh, see, this one only has like, what, 14, 12? I want to, let me go over here. 10, wow, 10. So yeah, that is, <clears throat> that's how you basically make automation clips. Just go ahead, you know, when you record it, double click into the event. Uh, I can't show you anymore. Well, you know, let me just do something. Anyways, so yeah, we could go to the mm, snares volume. So yeah, just go edit, create automation clip or turn into automation. Adjust threshold accordingly, accept, and bam. You have it here, and it works. So yes, that is basically it. Thank you for watching. Sorry if I sound so low, because it's literally 5.30 a.m. So yes, thank you for watching. Like the video if you found this helpful. My name is Justin Omoe, and as always, <laughs> the snap. Peace.